The centers coast in. The guy in stripes and orange armbands is there. And a regular season has just begun. Just underway. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emery. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. He is shut right off. He's certainly on a mission out there. He's trying to set a tone for his team in what should be a really physical contest. Pass attempt to Grunwald. Gets in, looks over his options here. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. You have a hit like this, there will be more to follow. Shoots one. That shot hit a man. A shot. Score! What a great early start for the home squad. Skating got him to the front of the net and was able to put in that second chance opportunity. Oh, the goaltender's got to do a better job of that one, Enzo. He makes that first stop, but he leaves the rebound too close to the net where the goal scorer can grab it. Detroit's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. The Red Wings control from the neutral zone. Can't get a shot on. Laid on to Parisi. Snapping a pass to Gronwell. Gets in. What will he do? Score! And this one is tied. Just past three minutes played here in the first. Scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. The Red Wings win the draw. What's next? Nino Niederweiger assisted by number 64, Michael Gronwell, and by number 46, Jim. Up corralled by Cronwall. Looking to Larkin. And possession snapped up by Zucker. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. The Red Wings get two minutes for high sticking. If he keeps his hands down, this is not high sticking. Minnesota's opportunity on the power play is their first of this game. Let's see how they do. They win the draw. Big drive. Good deflection. Bad result. Missed. Utah. Oh, what a great chance, but it's off the iron. Gathered up again by Miko Koivu. A shot. That shot came from right in front. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Held there for a face-off coming up next. The low shot's handled with the goaltender stick. He deflects this out of danger in a hurry. Clean win on the draw. Minnesota's in possession as they move up the wing. A shot, outstanding save with a glove. What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. Oh, what a bad save. Athanasiu, who's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. He's in on an onside play. Trying to go to Parisi. Minnesota's up the wing, settling things. Loose puck knocked away by Brodeen. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Puck is thrown to Nielsen. Still time on this power play, but not much. Minnesota's carrying it on through center ice. Shoot! You can almost count that one, but no! What a save! Flings it. Terrific shot, but a save. Minnesota's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Frustrating for them on the bench because the power play did everything they could, but finally find a way to get one past the goaltender. Chooses the corner. Point blank save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Pitching it to Nyquist. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Pitching this one to Koivu. 
Minnesota's carrying on up the wing. Out in front. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Icing canceled. Strong play. That time by Henrik Zetterberg. Terrific shot, but a denial. Minnesota's looking to head man up the wing. Smart recovery by Niederreiter. Looks from the corner. Big point blank save there. Shot on. Slid to a left. Gains the blue line. Directing that one to Zucker. Moving it to Eric Stahl. Gets around in here. Just missed the net with that one. Here's one of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there. That's where you just got to shoot for the center of the net. Got a piece of that one. Minnesota's carrying on in the defensive zone. Still has control through center ice. And we get a penalty. The referee to the table, a player to the box. Detroit's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Minnesota's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. The Wings with a clean win on the draw. Detroit's got it and moving up the wing. Gotten quickly back. Skill play by Niederreiter. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. No completion on that pass thanks to the stick. Propelled to Parisi. Pass to the slot. Nicely padded away. And possession seized by Nicholas Cronwall. The puck taken hold of by Brodine. And he carries it through center. Chip to Niederreiter. Blockered away. On to Niederreiter. Oh, that was close. That's going to happen. There's not a lot of room there. He just missed the shot. Puck free. Shoots. Outstanding save with the pad. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Turn to shot on net. Seeks the corner. Laid on. Oh, and he robbed him. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? Slid to Eric Stahl. That's the way to make him pay. Anytime you get hit in the open ice like that, that is a jolt. Let's it go. The wings are back even. Well, the penalty killers did a terrific job there. Outworked the power play. They were in better position than the power play was, and there was no lanes for anybody to move the puck. Off the post! Nice work by Koivu. Chris shot. He missed the net by a mile. As the shooter was about to let it go, the puck just went on edge a second. That's why the puck missed the net badly. Point to point. Snaps it to Koivu. Oh, what a stop. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Oh, and that shot is way off. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. Gets in. What will he do? One-timer. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. Looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. The Red Wings have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. Minnesota's continuing to probe up the wing. Carried to the corner boards by Cullum. He imposed his will. Right on his stick on the centering pass. Wristed one. Paddled aside. Passing one off now to Booth. Shoots 
one. The first period has come to a close here with both teams getting on the scoreboard at least. There is a lead to carry away though. The Red Wings are up by a goal. Limited edition team prints are available tonight at your team store. Get yours before they're all gone. Nyquist's late period tally has made all the difference and will cause both coaches to say something. Intermission is here. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? Minnesota's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now, puck management. They did not manage the puck at all in that first period. Oh, that's a nice cut pass. Let's see what happens. Puck now possessed by Spurgeon. And now it's directed to Gronlund. Slid back. He's alone! Propel to Parisi. Onside. Outstanding save made off a terrific chance. Loose, but he froze it. Stoppage of play. Stalock's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Nice face-off work. He's kept it in. Keeps the pressure on. Detroit's controlling play now up the wing. Good shooting place. Score! A pair of goals by the same team. Many shots harder than that. What a play. Oh, he's trying to be aggressive, though. He just can't get out there quick enough to stop this shot. Detroit's goal gives them a lead by two. Raises a question, too, here in the second period. Do they start to play it a little conservative, or do they go at them and try and make this three right away? Terrific handoff. Great job, great speed, no icing. Gold is placed, clock stopped. A little under four minutes play. The Wings just widened their lead, it's now two. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Can you say pink? Man, they would have loved to have pad that lead with a shot that bounces off the post and goes in. No luck for them there. Loose puck gathered by DeKaiser. Good work with the stick. Shoots one. Pad save. Ooh, tough one there. Pressure mounting here. Oh, what a chance. What a save. Score! The referee's waving this off. Maybe it's kick. Eddie's signaling me here. Ouch, that hurts. Eddie's signaling it. was kicked in. There was no indecision there. The referee waved it off right away. But there is going to be a video review. The Red Wings are grumbling on their bench about the no goal call. The home crowd is furious. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. To Ennis. Through center ice, he still has possession. Big drive! Points it. Good place to shoot from, and he does. 
scooped up by Green. Into the end of attack. Taken over now by Brodeen. It's dumped in. Mrazek's able to keep this play moving. Lots on that. Great save, point blank. He missed opportunity from this close in. And he is shooting. Oh, he had a great chance to shoot there, and he did, but score! And it's a one-goal game. The goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go, and beat the goaltender clean. I wouldn't want to be that defensive player when they look at the video on this one. What a mistake. Minnesota's trimmed the lead to just one. And at the rate they've had the puck, it looks good for a Todd. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. And he's hammered. Suter's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They clearly got the target on him. The Wings lose a man for two minutes for charging. You could skate to make the hit, but you must glide and then make contact. The power play is all about adjustments. They need to find a way to get more people and pucks to the net. I agree entirely, Eddie. Let's see if they prove us right here. Steps, score! Parisi! Easy's decision was pretty easy. This low in a slot, just snap it home. Enzo, I got a good look at this one. He's in the butterfly. It looks from my position like he's got the entire net covered. Obviously, there's a little bit open. Minnesota's got this game even up now, and we're still in the second period. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. By number 11, Zach Oh, what a play! As we enter the middle portion of the game, we've had a game full of goals, which is... He shot that puck so hard, I only saw it when it finally came back out of the net. Wow, Enzo, that was past him so quickly, he didn't even react. Detroit's pulled ahead by one. They haven't dominated in play, but they're ahead on the scoreboard. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. And that play is offside. Assisted by number 65, Danny A little under nine minutes remaining. The Wings have a one-goal lead. They recently broke the tie. Neutral zone faceoff one. Possession established here. Fires a shot. Sticked away. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Score! It's a hat trick. And here they come flying out of the stands. So that's a good shot, but the goaltender's got to stop this. This is low on the glove side. His hands have to be in position to cover just over the path. The Red Wings have now built a lead of two. Perhaps they can build on it even more before the end of the second period. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Pass attempt to Murphy. Scored by number 14, And it's nabbed by Conwell. Puck fired down, decision made. Defenders first, icing. I think this is a good point to hear from Ray Ferraro. Staylock's made a few good saves, but overall there's been not much that's gone right for him. The puck has beaten him from several different angles on several different occasions. There is no way he's going to want to watch this again. 
Ray, thanks. This is just not one of those nights for him. Maybe next time. Quick work on the faceoff. Wonderful block. Gains the zone. On the outside, a shot. Put covered, whistle blown. Just over six minutes still to be skated. Detroit's lead on the strength of that recent goal is two. Same side to Zucker. Oh, and he is drilled. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Good body contact. He gains the zone. Shot, terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Collected by Eric Stahl. Slot shot, deflected off the blocker. Stalops at the bench, extra man on. Fransen's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. A power play that can generate goals is special, and this one has been. Let's see if it continues. Good clean win. Can he generate something? Shoots! Oh, and he missed the net! When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. He knifed it away. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. The goalie makes himself look big. Gets across, looks over his options. Chip to Parisi. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Fires. Save! Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. Detroit's two-minute penalty is for cross-checking. You want to see a cross-check? Look at the player's hands and positioning on his stick. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. Andreas Athanasio, two minutes for cross-checking. Time of the penalty, 17 Through the corner now. Backhander to the net. No! Pretty tough to score on a grade A chance if you don't hit the net. That's being too fine with the puck. He's got to hit the net for me. Let's a shot go. Oh, wide with the shot. Looks for room. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Wow, uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Snapping a pass to Suter. Hammered save! The Red Wings organizing back in their own end. Knocked off. He's going to the net. What a save. All a part of generating an offense. Little pass off from the goal. Into the attacking end. He's alone. Terrific save. Detroit's lead is somewhat shocking. They've been outshot tonight. Their goaltender's been brilliant. And he's given them a chance to be in the game. Good face-off win. Shot on. Possession now on the pickup by the Kaiser. The wings wheel it up the wing. Clock about to bleed down to the final minute. Last minute of play in the second. On to Parisi. Niederreiter's got no big chance. Score! They're back to within one. He had people chasing him down on a breakaway, but he found a way to score. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. Minnesota's got a one-goal deficit to work on now. Maybe get it even before the end of this, the second period. 
They've won the faceoff. Laid on to Dumba. Detroit seeing the end of this period coming. Do they have time to start something and to finish it? Looking to Parisi. Rister, save! 40 minutes have been played here and still more to go. A well-deserved rest is at hand. Time to look at the shots on goal. 29 for the Wild and 23 for Detroit. Please don't throw any objects on or towards the Detroit's got the lead at the end of the period and their goaltender has made a huge difference in that. Here's just an example of his body of work. We'll be right back. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? Minnesota's coaching staff, Doc, has to be pretty pleased the way they played through the first 40 minutes of play. One area of concern has been their offense. They need to take advantage of all the time of possession and finally put the puck into the back of the net. Slid to Spurgeon. Propelled to Miko Koivu. Gains the zone and looks over his options. That shot came from just six inches. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Fires. He's got it frozen. Not easy. Way too slow a developing 2 on one That gives time for the goalie to get across to make an easy stop. Good job on the draw. Trying to go to Parisi. He's got two goals already this game. He's going to go hard to get that third one. And the puck taken over by Zetterberg. Looking for options up the wing. Let's it go. Why? What a chance. Oh, this is prime real estate right in front of the goal with the puck. you got to find a way to hit the net. You can't miss that wide. Shoots. Broke it right up. He throws it there, and a save. Big pad save. Wonderful play by the defense. Oh, feeds it in front. One into another. You got to keep your head up there. Oh, broke it up. Picked up. Loose puck captured by Nielsen. One-timer. Score! And so good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands and the shooter has a walk-in. little under six minutes play. The Red Wings just added some insurance to make this a two-goal lead. Good reach there. Gains the zone. Chipped. An outstanding pad save. Magnificent save. Puck is thrown to Nielsen. Free puck off a defender. Pitching it to Ennis. Shoots one. The wings are skating it back in their own end. Hammers his way up the wing at neutral ice. Let's it go. That one counts. He put it in himself. The look on his coach's face was priceless. He had to be the most surprised guy in the building. His player just turned around and fired this into his own net. I don't think this is going to be a happy coach when the player gets back to the bench. Detroit's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Just a backhand. Great save. Assisted by number 15, 
And possession reestablished by Parento. Time of the goal. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Minnesota's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. And he is reefed. Better get your head up. That's a solid hit that he had to take there. Takes that pass from the other point man. That hit somebody. Pitching this one to Parento. It's an onside play. Terrific determination by Brodeen. Directing that one to Zucker. Great job on a cut pass. It's always way more fun when there's lots of goals in the game. The players like it. Well, the offensive ones do. The defensive ones aren't so crazy about it. But I will tell you who hates it. It's the coaches. They always want to have some control of the game. Scooped up by Booth. To Cullen. Dumped in. Out of his crease to take it. What will he do with this? And they've got it again. Detroit's carrying it on through the area between the blue lines. Save! Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right here. And yet again, here is Ray Ferrar. This is one of the game's great problems. When you score so many goals, your arms get tired raising them up and down. He's been impossible to miss out there, Ray. A little over six minutes remaining in the third. Detroit's offense, another celebration just moments ago. Their lead is three. Ripper! Moving it to Malone. Got it in his own end. Parked at the crease. Terrific point blank save. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Nicely into the zone. Blocked. At the front of the net. Oh, what a terrific save in close. Going out on the road for any length of time is hard in this league, but that's the challenge these guys face, and the best teams find a way to win at home and on the road. Solid, clean win. Minnesota's in possession and neutralized. Thrown in. Pass comes to him from the crease. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Hope checked away by Henrik Zetterberg. And the heat's taken off by the clear. Passing one off now to Ennis. Gathered up by Nicholas Cronwall. And now it's directed to Zetterberg. Nicely into the zone. Wonderful poke check. On to Suter. Puts one on. Puck covered, whistle blown. Never satisfied, never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. Approaching the final minute in this game. Good solid defensive play there. It is a lopsided tilt. There has been some penalty activity, and here comes a little bit more. Face off win here. Thomas Tatar, two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 19 minutes. And the loose puck gathered in by Brody. To Parisi. Parisi's power play unit back on the ice. He's been solid in that. Terrific score! He's got the hat trick. And listen, the only ones you can hear are his teammates. You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. It looked to me like he had stopped this shot. He had a big chunk of it, but it worked its way into the net. Minnesota's goal gets them to within two. And we are in the third period. And there's still time for them to strike back. Solid win at center ice. Now what? What a hit. 
You want to be into a game, hit or be hit. Pop loose, strong defensive play by Brodeen. Minnesota's pulling their goalie, saying, take a chance. Why not? Speared along by the Kaiser. Tries to get it on net. Why? Nice job. Straight stand-up poke check. Turn the shot on net. Off the mark with the shot. Terrific opportunity, though. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. The game is over. Well, the game is lost. I suppose there are positives to take out of any situation. But despite the defeat, did you see something? I did, Doc. They had the puck a lot, but unfortunately, they did not generate enough quality chances when they did have the puck. You can't stay to the outside the majority of the game when you have the puck. The Red Wings raised their sticks to salute the fans from center ice. A wonderful hockey tradition. And that takes care of game number one. It is a long season ahead, but a season designed to entertain hockey fans. We hope you enjoyed this one. We did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good evening.